12.04 in the afternoon time on this Friday afternoon, November the 1st, 2013. Time now for the Weather Magician, PJ Wayne's Noon time afternoon port. Friday afternoon, November 1st, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation at 12.04 p.m. in North Massachusetts. We got 70 degrees of temperature of overcast skies with a humidity of 76%, wind speed southwest 16, gusts in the 38 miles per barometer, trend up for 7 inches, 2.62 degrees, and a visibility 10 miles. Okay, let's take a look at our little radar loop. It then shows a couple of batches of rain showers and a heavy rain from northern Maine and the normal Quebec stretch down through New Hampshire and eastern Vermont down to western and central and eastern Massachusetts stretch of food. Connecticut, Rhode Island, stretch in eastern Long Island, stretch off to Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, coastlines. And another line of rain showers stretch from west Massachusetts down to Connecticut, down to New York City, down to New Jersey, down to eastern Pennsylvania, down to the Delaware, down to Maryland, down to northern Virginia. Here. And a lot of rain showers in Rel, off North Carolina and South Carolina, of course, and a couple of batches of rain showers in Southern Virginia, down for Western Carolina, down for Georgia, down for Southern Alberta, down for Western Florida, and down in the Gulf Coast. There. And rain showers off the the duck boats are getting some much needed Mexico. For the big event. Off North Mexico coastline. And rain and a few snow showers in western Quebec, especially in northern Ontario. And a lot of rain showers in central UP, Michigan, and a bunch of rain showers in western Michigan. And a lot of rain showers down for Wisconsin, down for Iowa, down for eastern southern Nebraska, and down in eastern Kansas. Capital rain and snow pelts in South Dakota and North Dakota, down for southern Manitoba, and stretch it down to southern and Saskatchewan, down for Alberta, down for the British Island, British Columbia, Canada, and eastern British Columbia, Canada, a bunch of snow showers, and a couple of batch of rain showers off in the northern Washington and Santa Fe. Oregon here. Tribune in Kansas. Good afternoon. 49 degrees here. Okay, let's take a look. Satellite the open. It shows a couple of batches of clouds cover Mexico and a batch of clouds come from the government. So stretching for the eastern seaboard, stretching on in Atlanta, Canada, and stretching on in uh, Ontario and Quebec and stretching in the northern UP of Michigan here. A couple of batches of clouds. In Georgia, working clouds from Wisconsin and now when I'm in the so down for the quarters, down for the Plain States, down in the Rockies, there, and into Canada. Okay, let's take a look at the tropics. Tropical depression 18E movement, 6 miles per 345 degrees, wind speed 35, gets to the 45, pressure 1006 millibars. It's gonna make landfall in on Monday in Western Mexico. Where? Typhoon Crossa movement. Ten miles by twenty nine degrees. Wind speed one hundred gusts on one twenty. Movement ten miles by twenty nine degrees. And it's gonna stream into two and come back to a one typhoon and back to a tropical storm that make landfall in Da Nang, Vietnam on Sunday. Okay, let us check out the map situation and shows. Trucks there. What they're doing right now is putting barricades up all along the parade route. The cool front is gonna sweep through here by about this afternoon here through New England, bringing some rain and wind. To New England there, and the head of front cool air will be here probably Saturday and Sunday here. High pressure uh, western Louisiana down for eastern Texas. And a pull of high pressure from Idaho and Montana, so Wyoming down for Nevada, Utah, Colorado down in Arizona. Full pressure coming in southern Albert and in an Ontario, Canada. Three boundary lines from North Mexico down for Texas. Boundary line from Oregon to Washington. Boundary line from Manitoba and Winnipeg down for Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan and down in Ontario. And a uh, boundary line from Illinois down for Missouri. Here. Alright, John, thank you. Of course. And cool for from Mexico, stretch of Georgia, and down to the Appalachians, down and upstate New York, and in Canada, and a warm front in Ontario and Quebec. 
And Susan Warner of WCVB Channel 5 said that Boston is. We are warmer than Atlanta, Georgia, 70 degrees. In Norton, 65 in Atlanta, and New Orleans, she said. Come on, come on. 59 degrees. So we're one degree warmer than New Orleans and uh, five degrees warmer than Atlanta, yeah? So, November started off on the warm side, yeah? Okay, let's take a look at our wind advisory, yeah? In effect, a powerful early season storm system will move into Southeast Canada today. This will result in two episodes of strong winds for a seven wing in the first round will be this morning with south to southwest winds with gusts of 50 miles per hour. This area of greatest winds with strong winds during the morning will be across the Southeast Southeast Massachusetts near by Rhode Island along the Iron Train. In addition, strongest winds will likely occur in any heavy showers. A second round of strong winds will occur during the region. A cold front will be sweeping across the region. Beyond front winds will shift it to the west to southwest with possible gusts to 50 miles per hour. The area of greatest risk for the strong winds during the afternoon and hours will be across the interior. The location Rhode Island and adjacent southeastern Massachusetts. This includes the cities of the towns of Foxford, Norwood, Quincy, Taunton, Brockton, Plymouth, Fall River, New Bedford, Mattapoisett, Providence, Warwick, Bristol, near again to the westerly Newport. Wind southwest 25 to 35 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Timing the strongest winds of gusts will be in the morning less than in the early afternoon. Impacts winds of this magnitude and knock down some tree branches. Given many trees are still full of leaf, athletic power edge is possible. At 11.20. Okay. This is a special weather statement. Line of strong storms moving towards southeastern wind. Hartford, Wyndham, Tallinn, Middlesex, Suffolk, Norfolk, West Kent, Central Plymouth, East Six. No contact with miners and no access. Western North Western Bristol, Western Kent and Penance County. 1124 AM. National Weather Service Doppler Radar is tracking the line of strong storms along the line extend from Rutland to Chutland near Rio. South and near Mansfield and Marlborough moving to east of fifty miles per hour. Wind gusts get up to fifty miles per hour with except adequately these storms. Day one today not wind advisory days two for seven, no hazards where respect to time and although flood is not a concern, there could be minor port drainage during the urban flooding fighter, particular drains leave clog. And Ridiculous. This will be wind gusts up to 40 to 50 miles far from Rhode Island and on into Massachusetts, 30 miles far on the coastline on the northeast Massachusetts coastline in Cape Cod and central in west Massachusetts and on in Connecticut. 40 miles per gust from western Connecticut and Massachusetts and Brookshire and upstate New York and Vermont and New Hampshire. Gusts up to 30 miles far in New Hampshire and Maine. Okay, let's take a look at a 70 forecast and go like this. For that day, it is going to be this afternoon, showers mainly before 3 p.m., fetch of before 2 p.m., high near 34 degrees, breezy with southwest wind gusts, around 24 miles away, gusts as high as 46 miles per hour, church with patients, 90% new to man, chomp, less than a 7 inch possible. So, right, pop cars got low in 40 degrees, southwest wind about 5 to 30 miles per hour, Saturday, pop the sun sky high near 66 degrees. Calm wind becoming southwest by 6 miles by in the afternoon. Saturday night, a ch change of showers after 11 p.m. Most of the cast clouds moving 41 degrees. Light of variable wind becoming northwest by 5 to 7 miles by after midnight. Chance of precipitation is 20%. Sunday, slight change of showers before 2 p.m. Most of the cast clouds are higher than 51 degrees. Not wind about 11 30 miles by Chance of precipitation is 20%. Sunday night, most of the coast clouds low 23 degrees. Monday, sunny skies are under 45 degrees. Monday night, park cast clouds low 20 degrees. Tuesday, park sunny skies are under 53 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the cast clouds low 37 degrees. Wednesday, park sunny skies are under 64 degrees. Wednesday night, most cast clouds low 45 degrees by Thursday. Chance of showers, park sunny skies are under 68 degrees. Chance of precipitation. 40%. Peters, what a phrase of the day. A showery and a windy day and tough to start November. And on the warm side, this is BJ Woods. Have you have a good evening, good day with a good positive attitude.